The channel windup guide is an awesome feature on YouTube TV. It's very similar to the channel list on a cable DVR. And in this video, I'll show you how to get the most out of the YouTube TV channel lineup on your devices. But to make any customizations, you'll need a computer web browser or a smartphone. On a PC or Mac, you currently have to use Google Chrome or Firefox to access YouTube TV. When I first log in, it naturally takes me to the home screen, but clicking on the live button at the top will bring up a channel lineup and programming schedule for the day. Current and upcoming shows appear on this screen with local channels appearing at the top of the list by default. To customize the list, I can click on the sort button or I can click on my profile icon at the top right. Then click on settings. In the pop-up window, click on live guide in the left column. Here's where I can add or remove channels as well as change the order of how they're displayed. A red check mark means that that channel will appear in the live guide. If I want to hide a channel, I'll just uncheck it and it won't show up anymore. But I can always add them back later. Reordering channels is easy. Just click and hold the three lines and drag the channel up or down. These lines are also known as hamburger menus because of the shape. I can also click on the three dots on the end and move channels around using preset positions. With this, moving a channel one space up or down or to the top or bottom of the list is easy. And speaking of the bottom of the list, YouTube TV recently added new channels to their service and they appear at the bottom of the live guide settings. You can see here starting at Court TV where the new channels were added, but for some reason they're unchecked by default, so they won't appear in the main live guide. I was actually confused at first where the new channels were, but like I showed you before, adding a check mark next to the channel will make it appear in the main channel list. To make this easy, I'll just add the Comedy Central channel and then move it to the top. When I exit out, the newly added channel will appear at the top of the list where I placed it in the live guide settings. You can now see Comedy Central as the first channel. And here's some additional information. In the YouTube TV Live Guide, I can only see about three hours of programming on the screen. But on the side, there are arrow buttons where I can click and move forward in time. This is really helpful if you want to schedule a recording that happens later in the day. And you can scroll up to 48 hours ahead of time. When I want to record a show like NCIS New Orleans, for example, I'll click on the time slot and then click the plus button to add it to my library. This not only records the selected episode, but will record all upcoming episodes in the series. But let's see how these changes affect the YouTube TV phone app. On my iPhone, when I go to the live guide, I can see that Comedy Central is also at the top of the channel list. But I can tap on the sort button and also edit the live guide settings on my phone. Again, the red check mark means a channel is visible in the live guide. Unchecking it will hide the channel. And here I can drag the hamburger menu next to a channel and move it up or down in the list. And when I exit out of the settings and go to the live guide, TBS is at the top and Comedy Central is second in the list. If I tap on the channel logo to the right of the thumbnail, it'll open up that channel's programming page where upcoming shows can be scheduled to record. Moving on, let's see how these changes affect the YouTube TV app on my LG Smart TV. Here I can see that TBS is at the top with Comedy Central just under that. All the other channels still remain in the same place as I scroll down. And for the changes to take place on some TVs, you might have to turn the TV off and then back on before launching the YouTube TV app. This will ensure that the new live guide settings are loaded. I can also use the right arrow on my remote to see programming for later in the day. It's worth noting that you may or may not be able to change the channel order on some streaming devices, which means you'll have to make your changes on a computer web browser or on a smartphone. Finally, a lot of people ask if channels can be sorted in alphabetical order. Unfortunately, there's no setting to alphabetize the channels, but it seems to be a really popular feature, so I hope they add that feature in the future. And just so you know, I went straight to YouTube TV after I canceled cable, and I've never regretted it. I've been a subscriber since 2018 and I still think YouTube TV is one of the best services out there to replace cable. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.